Soul Calibur 6. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, here in here along with... Drakir! And welcome to, yeah, a cat, another catch-up stream where we'll be doing, well, the Something Sunday on Monday because, once again, a scheduling, yeah, scheduling conflict popped up. As again. in, uh, yeah, I, I was asked to uh, help. Uh, last week it was that uh, I've... I help out at a swimming organization, uh, an organization that teaches children to swim and such. And due to lockdown having been tightened up, the <clears throat> the swimming pools and such have to close down uh, after five. And well, after five would normally be the lesson, so that's been shoved forwards. But as you can bet with shoving stuff forward, uh, you're going to get some issues with scheduling people. And yeah, Yesterday they didn't have anyone for something, so they just a they asked me to step in, and well, they didn't have anyone, so yeah. Anyways, let's start that timer up. Actually, not that one. We need the thirty-minute one. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, what we'll be doing is we'll be trying out slash showing well four games or up to four games, depending on how things run. Uh, for about half an hour each to see if they're any fun for streaming later or not. And yeah, so obviously yes, the first one is Soul Calibur 6. So let's get started on this using the <laughs> controller. <clears throat> one other thing though is that my throat is kind of croaky. It's a bit croaky. <clears throat> don't know what it is. It could be a bit of an infection or something. It's not painful, it's just freaking annoying. It makes me cough a bunch. Anyway, let's see, what do we... It's not responding to the controller for now, some reason now. Okay. Like, zero full point? Have you been playing this at all? Hmm? No, I, not at all. <laughs> uh, the only reason I re own this game is be basically because uh, Gerald of Rivia is in this and it was on sale. 
Let's see. Mission Libra of Soul. Create an original character and search for an adventure around the world where you'll experience Legend of the Cursed Sword from a different Souls perspective. And story mode. Soul Chronicle. Enjoy the dramatic stories of each individual character as well as the main tale of the Cursed Sword that ties them together. You'd think after five games, they'd know the way to deal with the stupid blade already, but apparently not. It's a stubborn blade. Yeah. And it's always the one over it. <laughs> Okay, the 1500s. Uh, 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 Chronicle of Souls 1, Soul Ed. Its story reached far back into the darkest depth of history. In the 16th century, the legend tried to rear its ugly head again. We are people, fun fact, I own this game on my PlayStation. And I love Transcending it. Transcending history and the world. A tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Soul Edge. A legendary sword and devourer of souls. Buried in the darkest reaches of history, it was brought back to light in the 16th century. The notorious pirate Cervantes claimed the sword as his own, setting everything into motion. Soul Edge adapted itself to its new owner by splitting into two. Possessed by the evil weapons, Cervantes began a bloody reign of terror, slaying all those seeking the swords without prejudice. Cervantes was eventually undone. Under the protection of Hephaestus, the god of smithing, a female warrior named Sophitia was able to destroy one of the swords. Shards of the blade flew and lodged into her body, causing near-mortal wounds. Seeing his chance, Cervantes raised his sword to deliver the final blow. Suddenly, there appeared a ninja known as Taki, who rescued the wounded warrior. Taki defeated Cervantes in a battle to the death before carrying the injured Sophitia away. However, one of Soul Edge's two blades still remained. Perhaps it was fate. The blade fell into the hands of Siegfried, whose mind was twisted and unwell. of rampant evil, the evil seed. No one could have predicted it would become a catalyst for catastrophe across the world. Our story takes place in the 16th century. I think somewhere the Soul Reaver is getting jealous. <laughs> Let's see. 1583, Chronicle of Soul 2, Shen Su Charity. When the evil seed emanated from the cursed blade one fateful day in Spain, it released a white light that burst forth, affecting lands far and wide, even as far afield as Ling Shen Su. Okay. And in hiding I go again. I, or not. A tragedy befell this place. Ling Shen Su Temple was a famous martial arts school in the far reaches of China. It was there Killick learned to master the staff after he was abandoned as a child. Killick ate and slept with the other students and began his training at a young age. Despite this, he established a family-like bond with just one other student, Shang Len, a young girl who was like an elder sister to him. Dedicated to the way of the sword, she looked after Killick as if they were siblings. So close was their bond that when one felt happy or sad, the other would feel the same. Together they studied and grew as warriors. The years passed by.
Killick's skill earned him a place as a teacher, an honorable position for one so young. Throughout the ages, Ling Sheng Su Temple had kept hold of the three sacred treasures, Krita Yuga, Devapara Yuga, and Kali Yuga. Killick's years of arduous training earned him the title of rightful bearer of the staff, Kali Yuga. Likewise, Shang Len was also designated bearer of Devapara Yuga, a sacred mirror. Our story begins on the night before the ritual for passing the treasures on to their new masters. Shang Lin, can I ask you something? Sure. How come you were chosen to bear Devapara Yuga? <sighs> I thought you'd get Krita Yuga. After all, you've dedicated your life to the sword. <sighs> Kalek, this is not easy for me to talk about, but I'm going to try. The Krita Yuga, it's no longer at Ling Shang Su. The sword has been gone for more than a decade. All that's left is the Kali Yuga and the Devapara Yuga. Really? Surprised? Well, there's more. The one who stole the Krita Yuga was none other than my father. That's why I don't have the right to bear it. If I were to accept the sword, everyone would be up in arms. That's why, even though it was offered to me, I decided to decline. Of course, I love Ling Shang Su, and I do wish to see my studies through to their conclusion. It's just... I... I just don't want the sacred treasures, or my status as a sacred bearer, or anything else to hold me back. You know what the monks say. Fate, Fate is, carved is carved with, with your, your own, own hands. When I spoke to them about that, they decided to let me bear Devapara Yuga instead. Now I can feel proud that I'm a sacred bearer just like you. Um, you know something, Killick? What? Uh, it's okay. Never mind. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Me too. And so it was Killick and Shang Len were set to attend the official ritual for becoming sacred bearers. But the night before the ritual, a terrible calamity plunged everything into chaos. Drawn by the Kali Yuga in Killick's hand, the evil seed came to Ling Shen Su Temple. The monks, driven insane by the evil force, began slaying each other, turning the temple into hell on earth. What have I done? I don't understand. Everyone, stop this madness! Yeah. Okay, this is good. This is already going up for like 10 minutes now. There we go. Okay, uh, I must say I have practically no experience with fighting games, so... I'll have to get through this. <laughs> Probably unlock. Yeah. If I'm not so that you play, I was volunteer to show you, but yeah, that is why uh, some rules to be clean up. <laughs> yeah, and a, a few hundred kilometers of land as well. Yeah, and probably a few lockdowns. I'm sure people are allowed to leave country at the moment. I'm pretty sure people are allowed into the Netherlands at the moment, but they'll have, they'll have to quarantine for two weeks. <laughs> yeah! It's kill or be killed! Huh? 
Chung Lin? Well, Get a hold of yourself, Shang Lin. Shang Lin. God. Shang Lin. As nice as the drawing, and nice as the drawings are. Having those be cinematics, uh, actually animated cinematics would probably have been a bit of a better step. Let's see. Yeah, with these of some sort of uh, other uh, pictures to go along, picking them with the dialogue a bit more like, like the when they were, they had the dialogue with the Atmon, Madmon, in fact, in Hilik. That one felt like it would be better with at least a, a, a cinematic or some pictures to go along with him attacking, not just two faces. Yeah. Let's see. When Killik awoke, he found himself in an unfamiliar cave temple. When he was passed, while he was passed out, an old man had been taking care of him. Aside from, uh, from identifying himself as a weapons expert from Ling Shen Tzu, the old man spoke little. Save me? Who are you? <sighs> you have yet to recover from your injuries. Rest. And that mirror, Devapara Yuga, wear it always. There will be grave consequences if you do not. Understand? <sighs> realized yet you are being protected devapara yuga suppresses the evil within you evil the old man proceeded to tell a tale he told Killick about the evil seed how devapara yuga had pulled Killick back from the brink of insanity how kali yuga had the ability to absorb power and how it was falling under an evil spell. And finally, he told Killick about Soul Edge. Your fate will be set in stone the moment you lose your will to live. Your soul will be swallowed whole by your destiny, leaving behind but a rotten corpse. That is but one path you may take. But perhaps it is the path you wish to take to submit to that evil sword and its wicked power. Is that what you wish? To become a thrall? Do you see? All is in your hands. Shang Lin, she, she told, told me fate is carved with your own hands. Shang Lin gave her life so I could live. That leaves me only one choice. From that day forth, Killick bore the heavy weight of his karma. As Shang Lin's slayer and the last living member of Ling Sheng Su, he chose to face his cruel fate head on.
Yeah. I'm getting the feeling that this is going to end up with a longer intro than uh, Okami did. <laughs> because we're already at 15 minutes. Yeah, I forgot that it is very text heavy. And also, fun fact, I almost played all of the Soul Calibur games, even the first Soul Edge game. The only one I'm not playing is Soul Calibur 1. Okay. Or apparently it was only released through Dreamcast, which I didn't even know existed back then. <laughs> okay. That's the basic the uh, one. Yeah, uh, you go on. I was going to continue. Uh, I was going to say, for the longest time when I played Soul Calibur 2, I realized Soul so Edge and Soul Calibur 2 are of the same series. And I always may wonder why did it change the title to Soul Calibur 2 when it should be Soul Edge 2? Almost confused me. Then only a few days later I realized, oh, there was a Soul Calibur 1. Yours on I'm cons I never heard of. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Killek chose to fight against his fate and has thus begun a period of intense training under the guidance of the old man Edge Master. Well, that can't totally yeah, that can totally not be related to the Soul Edge, now can it? No, no. He, he's an old character. He's basically a whip muscle of all weapons. You know, what is all about is he's beating with an owl head. If you continue upon this path. The evil within you will create a second Soul Edge out of Kali Yuga. The only reason you and Kali Yuga have yet to succumb is because of Devapara Yuga's power. However, all is not lost. You can learn to control the evil within. Yes, Master. Is that it? If this tests you so dearly, how do you intend to stand up to evil? <sighs> Sorry, Master. To control evil, you must first control yourself. Mastering your own will is the key to overcoming malice. Yes, Master. The enemy is powerful. You must stand strong, whoever your opponent. Uh, yes, Master. Killick, your next opponent awaits. Who? Sometimes things reveal themselves when you fight. I understand, Master. Okay, button mash time again? <laughs> Battle yeah. one. Fight! Scream! Oh, 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 this character is supposed to be your custom character. Yeah. Because you have a main one. Yeah. Either way, another one down. Yep. Three rounds. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did not know that the left trigger would do that. <laughs> well done! It is only a training thing. <laughs> so, did you learn something? Yes. I believe I felt how delicate the balance is between myself and evil. I see. Then the time has almost come. Master? It is nothing. What are you doing? You have yet to finish your training for the day. Yes, Master. Seriously?
final test. Uh, okay. Though the arduous training lasted three years, it seemed to pass by in the blink of an eye. The evil harbored within Kilik and Kali Yuga was being kept at bay by Devapa near Yuga. However, with it threatening to spill over at any moment, the only time he was able to feel anything approaching a piece was during intense training. Okay. Uh, see, this, one, this episode we were just finished was a bit better for... We were shown a bit more artwork fitting to what he was doing. Yeah. So that this that one was a bit more of an improvement. Yeah, it, it is good artwork, but it still feels a little bit cheap in to not have some uh, animation going on, even if it is 2D animation. Maybe there will be some, if I remember right, but yeah. So I think the first, uh, uh, the very first uh, part was the, the, the cheapest. Okay. And yeah, final test. Uh, typically with stuff like this, the final test is going to be fighting the master. So let's see. Kilik, you have borne the burden of your training well. Yes, master. Now we shall see how you fare against me. Hold it. <laughs> an actual fight with you? It would be an honor. Why do you hold back? Come at me! Yes, master! Yeah! Yeah! You have improved. I understand why you were chosen to bear Kali Yuga. upon your soul take heed if it envelops you completely the evil within you will stir and in time tear at your soul until there is nothing left you need to banish that shadow I have shown you how to control evil the rest is up to you yes master Kilik, this will be your final test you must seal away Soul Edge, the cause of all this madness, and cleanse yourself of evil. Yes, Master. Head west. Keep going to where the wielder of Soul Edge awaits in the heart of a great maelstrom. You must live on, as have I. How much time do we have left? Uh, five minutes about. <laughs> oh, it is kind of funny in its own way, just how how long it takes between each fight. But yeah, yeah. With, with games like these, it's always uh, the main MacGuffin that everyone is after. In this case, the Soul Edge. Some want it for power, some want to kick its ass to get rid of it. But. but Question I still have yeah, to ask then why hasn't just any why hasn't anyone just covered the thing in concrete and dumped it in the middle of the ocean? I, I wouldn't be surprised if people have tried that and someone still able to find it. Yeah, because the, the, the sword is uh, I forget which one is act most accurate. Sapient is the most is sapient is the one that means intelligent, I think. I think um, more sapient in this case. Yeah, one of the two, and that it can lure people to it. So, yeah, eventually someone would get that stupid thing again. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of terrifying. And also, here's the thing that makes Play White feel a bit cheap in some areas. But the story is good. But here's the thing. It almost did not get made several times. They were able to finally beg them to be able to go back to work on it again. And yeah, they're, they're not even doing more. They've done two season pass and not doing more, if I, as I remember right. Since I think the company did not have too much faith in the game. Okay, I think I might have heard something akin to that. Yeah. 
The list is unstable. There were many, many years ago when it was talk about doing this game, like 10 years ago, the rumors they had to almost cancel due to they were, un they were unable to decide the cup size of Ivy. <laughs> and I have problem believing that was the killer reason. I find it very doubtful unless there is someone in power in power with the company who is really, really, really obsessed with Ivy. That or the opposite. Like they wanna shrink them or enlarge them. It can be one of the you know, parts. But then again, it's one of those rumors I feel like I doubt they almost they basically cancel it because of bust size. Like no, that's probably not it. Okay, this will probably be the last part of the story Let's see, that will be showing Killick's journey begins. There are several roads that lead west, but the most common route is was by sea. Once Killick left the uh, cave, he headed over the Himalayas, then traversed south in search of a port. So you want to head west, do ya? Guess you're in luck, because that's where we're going. But I warns ya, our ship ain't what you call luxurious. I don't care, as long as you're heading west. So, can I join you? Sure, why not? But it could end up costing you a pretty penny. <laughs> huh? Oi, driver! Where's you going? This ain't the way to the dock. Huh? You deaf or something? What the? <laughs> He's been consumed by evil. I'll kill you! Damn, you leave me no choice. Okay, at least it was short this time. Battle one. Fight! Scream! Okay, I think after I finish the game. It's kind of hard for me to finish most of the them, unless you just play our game mode. But don't do it, it's not 6 KB. I will kind of just say Porter's work, you want to focus on playing two Caterpillar. Oh dear. <laughs> I probably should have tried a tutorial for this, because I have no idea what most of this all does. And that is, just if you do two focus at the same time, forgot, I don't know well, what the control you using, but you can't over grab ball. Okay, at the very least I can understand that there's high attacks and low attacks and such, uh, of course, always. Uh, fighting games like this have special moves like that. There we go. And, oh. Straight through it then, since there's no way it can win again. Whew, you saved me. Even us pirates ain't safe from bandits when we's on land. Thanks, matey. Sure. That has no, no ordinary, ordinary bandit. bandit. It, it takes, takes me back, back to that, that night. night. The shadow upon my soul. Shung Lin, am I strong enough? You got a question one thing though. If they were to be given the uh, the relics the next day, how did he, he somehow have both of them at night then? I think that uh, is explained when you do her story. Okay. For now though, yeah, we've run our time with this and okay. Oh, so we can choose. We have a main story, and then we have each specific character story bits that we can move on to. Yeah, and okay. as we can see, uh, they basically tell, tell when this happened in the timeline as well. Yeah, that, that helps clean things up because uh, in many in many games with multiple stories going on, 
it can get very confusing as to what's going on when and such. Yeah, and I think this is one of the games where they're trying to at least make a clear timeline. And not just alter timelines, they're just, this shall be the official timeline. Yeah. Now, though, we're moving on to the second game. And need to share it to Drake here so he can also see it. And OBS should catch it at any second now. There we go. It. And from a game that you like, we're moving to a game I like. Hey, I also like this game. <laughs> okay, then we can call it two for one. Or two to one. Yeah, Joe Woods. I should actually look what, what, where the hell they are now. I think they were... I think they were taken up into, or their their properties at least, were taken up by THQ Nordic or something. Yeah, uh, do you and me spoke about it a lot in many, many months ago? And you and did look it did, up, but... Yeah, when we uh, did uh, Neighbors from Hell. Oh, well, yeah. But yeah, this is Spell Force. Uh, the title that gave... Yep. No sound. Okay, that's odd. It should, I'm pretty sure that it should be sound, but uh, it says Shadow of the Phoenix here, but that's the, uh, the, that's the name of the last DLC for it, I believe. Expansion. Uh, yeah. Ex it, it back then it was called Expansions. Yeah, here's the thing. I love the game, Do when I bought a collection pack that is sold for uh, with both one and two with all the expansion, the first one, like, Here's the thing with Spell Force. One, they always been rather buggy. Like, I, on a gold edition, I could barely play the campaign because if I tried to go to a gate or doorway, I could not, but I was all bugged. Okay, that's and right. I the, and then I got the other one with all the collection. Then they were working just fine with the first game. But when I played the second game, because I have bought the copies for one regularly, and one with all the expansion that one. But, this uh, thing... Yeah, the music's just loud. Yeah, it's only spiking up. <laughs> yeah, just what I say here. It, here's a the thing I was to only really got to learn several years later. To be able to play the second part of this collection pack, you have to email the developers the rest of the code, for they only give you half the code for the Come second on, that's game. Just no, it was not dickish. That was because they made a mistake. It was not planned to do that. It's more of a disaster that they didn't realize too late. They're like, wait, why are we get? Oh no! Oh no! That situation, like they were unaware that this had happened. So, yeah, but it's not that much of a dick move, more of a disaster happened. Like, someone messed up badly. Yeah. I probably would have played this game more back in the day when it was uh, still a new release. But it <laughs> this was back in the time that the uh, activation codes were put on the back of a manual. And... Uh, it was also before the time that they specific they specifically didn't use uh, uh, make when they didn't make it very obvious what each symbol was. So when you were looking at a circle, it could be either a zero or it could be a capital O. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the problem went. They still this is what back when they were still using those, and so when you put a manual where half the codes were missing. Okay, that I had, did not have. I had a whole code, but one that was very hard to decode. Yeah, the, the, the best which one, if you put, got the big box with both games in and the other expansion, then the second game's code, were ha half of them were missing. Like, the, like there was four pieces and you were missing two of the ladder. So you could not play the game unless you emailed them and they will it, it give you the rest of the codes. They don't want to do it though, but then again, they don't need to do it any more things to Steam. Okay, I, I just dug up my physical copy and the original subtitle was The Order of Dawn. 
and uh, run it. Okay, <laughs> Chroma Key does not like this, but uh, it has a much better image and character than that expansion showed. And where the, where the hell did I... Where's that code? It should be at the back here somewhere. Or... Oh no, it's, behind, it's underneath... It's underneath the disc. And, uh, yeah, that would be an absolute bitch to try and read. Bloody hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this game. I played a lot of it. But the, the game has a very troubling history again with strangest bugs, or as I told you there, a salesman disaster that no one realized too late that the manual were missing most of the codes for the installation. Of the convocation. Thirteen mages blinded, driven by the greed for divine power. And under the bondage of the circle, their armies unleashed death and destruction. Bonded with the power of ancient runes. Cursed to eternal life and eternal death. Until the last day of the old era had dawned. Witness the day of my ultimate triumph, poor old man. No, to witness your downfall. <laughs> you cannot win. The convocation is a lie. It will destroy all of us. So. Say what you will about the graphics, <laughs> still gotta also admit that's a cool ass cinematic. Oh yeah. It, I think the best way to describe one and two is diamond in the rough. Like a lot of potential, yeah. 
I want a lot of rough edges, but I'm very ambitious. Rune sent us. He needs the power of the Rune Warriors. The Northern Realms are in danger. Rowan knows I will never serve a Circle Mage again. My powers are exhausted. I have seen quite enough misery and bloodshed. Rowan will have to look for somebody else. That's why he sent us. A very special rune lies concealed somewhere in these lands. We're here to search for it. But we were attacked and Lev is wounded. He needs your help. We need your help. Then I hardly have any choice. Very well. I will help you. Where is Lev? I lost sight of him somewhere behind the gate there. I hope he's still alive. These damned orcs. I'll look for him. You stay here by my hut. Thank you, Tahira. It's good to have you back with us. Yeah, this is what Welcome I mean with the, the world diamond of roll. force. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In this prologue, oh, we will again? explain the game to you. Let's start with some general information. 18 years old. Yeah, I, I honestly was really surprised when I heard that Tahira. the spell for three was a combination of fighter and sorceress. From now on, we will refer to the main character as the Avatar. Yeah, as I I'm probably gonna Once buy the pro if our game sometime, or I heard you think about it. Before starting the game. Yeah, whenever you hold the mouse pointer over a button or an object, a help window with additional information will appear. Yeah, in the we're going to have to deal with this screen. guy chatting for us. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, I, say, I think I bought it already because it was on sale or something. Click with the left mouse yeah. button. We'll tell you about the right mouse button a little later in this presentation. What I can see about her so far from what I've seen is. They've been when able to the use button, their experience on the first you can game and the, game or the second change game, the game settings and really need to it up. Uh, yeah, yeah, as you can see, this like plays like a top-down, to no, no, an isometric RPG at the moment. And yeah, let's just, let's just try good. and skip ahead as much you as can we can. You can move the view with either the cursor keys or with the mouse. A selected unit is marked. In the lower left, you can see the current... You can select your avatar at any time. Move to here or down the path to the east and through the open stone gate to the bindstone, a large boulder, by clicking the right mouse button next to it. Fun fact. On the first version of this game I had, the Bindstone offers the, the was opportunity to connect his room with this place. Should he perish, he will appear in the last Bindstone used. Enemies are able to sever the connection to a Bindstone if they attack it, thus causing you to lose one active Bindstone. Yeah, but one thing that makes this game different Select the is that your, characters, the, your main character is basically a lich. Mm. Let's see. Can I connect with this bind stone that's making his or her entrance much more action bar? In Usta, oh, there we go. Activate this bind <laughs> stone. <should laughs> it turns on with an electric sound. Click on that symbol. Yeah, and that's it. The bug foot on my end, on my first version of this game was, well, the, the doors would not right open. Is now active. In the lower right, you will find the overview. The dots yeah, on the yes. overview map are in different this, colors. I'll just say it, our guide, this game is a mix of RPG red enemy and, and RTS. Or allied units or built Literally. Along the path to the yeah. east. Because you, have, you will have your main character, the one that we selected earlier. You'll we'll, we'll find them later. The and a few others that you can recruit as well. Views, and they are, including they are the rune warriors. Person. Basically, they are immortal. Yeah, yeah, shut change. up, you. By moving the now, when you move the now, change to the third person perspective by zooming in closer. This is only possible if your avatar is inside the field of view. Yeah, that, I had forgotten about this. Now, are you going to shut up and uh, there we go? In the third person Wrong. perspective, you can control your avatar directly with the cursor keys or with the they are D the characters S that we will be made primarily controlling our heroes, so to speak, if you were to compare it to if modern games or hero. Mouse button, you can change the view direction. Yeah, they'd be, yeah, sort of leeches. Shield. Uh, I mean, you may... Uh, 
released to yeah. the next stone I think gate. we took it because it, the body stopped shining and dis dissolves. But you need to go into the inventory. You can change to the third-person perspective anytime time during the game. will assume I might have to find a way to mute that alert sound. Yeah, here's the thing. I think the only reason that is a third game is probably thanks to Steam for... An enemy goblin is yeah, lured but to select your avatar but not on Steam and click the right mouse button on the goblin. But once it arrived to Steam, I guess it's going to be a bit more popular and defeated, not for us to be able to make continue. a third game. Makes sense. Or, Sometimes that happens. Yeah, and here's the thing. Inventory basic stuff. Which indicates that he was carried. Take a position close to the dead goblin. This game, this game may have died to obscurity due to... Yeah, as I said before, object the very well with, the with uh, either a lot of bugs and all that, and we were probably ordered to it fix be before Steam. Added to your inventory. Yeah. And again, the man was a disaster where you, they forgot to print the out the rest of the code for the game. Inventory. Click on the backpack symbol in the action bar, uh, yeah. which can uh, be found on the bottom. Basic stuff, uh, damage, and range, the left, attack speed, the different categories uh, armor class, click on the uh, symbol, armor class, and plus five wisdom. wisdom. Okay. Stats is, of course, the standard stuff, life, mana, on your the left, dungeon see dragon stats, equipment. resistances, in the middle, the and speed. Your avatar is currently. To equip your avatar <laughs> with the shield, you must first pick it up okay, with the mouse. Okay, old timer. Click on the shield and then click also, on the first section up here, the left hand beside the There's a time of day scroll. Uh, a clock. Yeah, the, yeah a clock. Now, I don't think it has much effect typically, but back, beyond the, that, in the at night, Characters will be able to see less and such. Yeah, I think it would be some quests. In the upper left hand corner. And also, this game can get very. Follow the path through the Even to it until you Yeah, that I certainly remember. And we will get. There's the three coins silver, copper, and gold. Dialogue, However, select your avatar, here's the thing. approach left, if you reach and click 100 on the right mouse. It don't turn into one silver. Each coin is separate. Like, if I have 10,000 copper, it will be equal that amount of silver, but it won't tell you. But if you find silver, it, it, like, it, it counts each coin you get individually. So, so okay. what do I want to wait? How was I able to afford the wait? Why do I have 19,000 copper and still? Oh, that's what? Why had I done that? What? I was able to buy a very expensive item only by having 19,000 copper. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would basically be the uh, medieval equivalent of paying something with, just with pennies. Yeah. And it's sort of realistic since if you, when you find a lot of copper, then it makes sense. But it's one of those extremely realistic things that has almost become confusing. Like, why did I do this? Well, it, it becomes very really confusing at first. Stuck with my okay. books. I <laughs> hope you haven't <laughs> forgotten your healing arts, Tahira. Help me. I'd completely Please forgotten how me. awful the bearish <laughs> acting was. <laughs> Yeah, some are good, but some are very... Yeah, but at least they're trying. There are two possibilities. Yeah, and it is part of the charm with such old games like this. Is often by the click and fights. Yeah, they were, they were really the fighting hard. So, you know, Under your I know when I bought the bigger box, the functioning uh, all of first uh, expansion for the first game, I saw there was some box they still had in. Click on the symbol to heal them. Like, if you want to upgrade a unit called Wind Archer, you need to consult the building, but when you go to the building and click the skill and upgrade, it says or melee attacks on hostile upgrade as soon as wind downline Rizerman. The alternative yeah. to this is the classic it's I think you to Hira. Without yeah. you, I would have been lost. I thank Aonir that Kaile found you. What happened, anyway? You're seeking a rune? Yes, a special rune. 
Rowan is certain it must be somewhere in the ruins of Ankbrunt. But the ruins are just swarming with orcs. We had to flee. Only Joshua managed to hide. Kaelin knew where your house was. That's why we fought our way through to you. Please, you must help us. Hmm. All right. I will fetch your rune. You stay here and recover for a while. As you command, take good care, Tahira. Here, this spell scroll. I captured it from one of the orcs. Maybe it will be of some use to you. Keep following the trail. Perhaps you'll run across hey. Joshua somewhere. May the gods grant that he is still alive. Uh, okay. Speak that character me, is a weird for me to listen to or read for live. It's a Swedish word. You have received additional experience. It stands for... ...and a magic spell scroll from them. It contains the fireball spell. Yes, basically, you have collected if you want to say, number of experience like the Swedish version of Dr. Frankenstein, you, you just scream. Live! Live! Next, your avatar should Next. open your inventory and click on the symbol for spell. Spellbook, that one there. Yeah. And we just drag it over, I think. Yep. On the left, you will see and the inventory it there, and it, it ends up here. Scrolls. Click on the scroll in the inventory there. to place it on the mouse pointer. Then click any free space in your spellbook. Oh, big boy. Minot Minotaur Bronze. Okay, I presume that's his name. You now have transferred a new spell into your spellbook. You can then learn the fireball magic spell by clicking on the fireball symbol in your spellbook. And then click on any free space in your magic inventory. Okay. <laughs> died before you could cast it again. <laughs> Close okay. your inventory. Yeah, you were a few steps behind old timer. <laughs> oh dear. Follow the path oh, until yeah. you see the Minotaur. Um <clears throat> from the narrator. Use the fireball spell to defeat the Minotaur. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to shut Any up so you can and you can just talk over him. Resistant to specific yeah. types of magic. Behind the next game, a fire a element is a creature that will be the campaign. This creature is resistant to your fire is that magic. Continue along what? the path. Oh, Swedish! But that, I mean, they have some very obvious actual Swedish accents and names, like Swedish letters in the names. Sparks. After this, <laughs> defeat the fire elemental okay. creature in close combat. Perhaps for that we should just uh, put this game on the two-stream list just to see that happen. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the, yeah, like he said, white sparks, no effect. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that is. How was it dancing towards us? Is it more? More common than it happens to be to raise Polish accents, but you have some of the food with a mix of Swedish and Scottish. Is it common than my accent? Now, usually, uh, dwarves are fire elemental more depicted was like Scottish or such. Yeah. And four objects. yeah, the, 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 the that's something that try to mix it up a little bit, which I don't mind. No, I do. I do like it when with the Scottish accent. Beside but your I main don't mind the you now have up to five heroes at your disposal. The heroes are your yeah. strongest allies, yeah, avatar, and they have magic and up to powers. five heroes. And beyond that, we can have a the heroes normal minions. But for that, we have to start. We have to reach one of the RTS areas. The rune establishes the yes. hero's characteristics and abilities. In the course of five, the game, you will find what more rooms and I also replace these are some for. of the old rooms. Well, yeah, to get them, we need to, to slot hero, one of these. It says who the they are, what the abilities they have. Table, which you always have with you. Open your inventory there and you go are. to the category rune board. But we can't just summon them anywhere that I do remember. Yeah, you no, need to no, get to a bunch of them. You will see your currently yeah. unused depending on which level you are. You can Side apply up to five your rooms own at hero. once. Click on the rune of the hero and place it in one play of the empty fields of the play. rune tablet located Where at the top. Where you can grind money to buy strong items before you will continue on from map to map. Now you and will have to arm game the game hero. Very you should have received a bow, a dagger, and two pieces of armor. Go into the inventory mm -hmm. and select the category Equipment. 
equipment. Uh, now we have Drago here, who's doing his uh, on the Conan right the Barbarian the window, impression. You will now see two portraits. Select the lower portrait we'll and give him give some stuff the four and new get... objects from the left side of the okay. inventory. Diago the bow must go into his left hand. So that's that's in the, the space the on the right hand side. Okay. You can use the bow and arrow at the same time. Just okay. put them there. It is if unique. If an avatar or a hero it cannot use an object, it will be marked with a red background. Okay, now Close we go to the stone inventory. and now we activate the stone like it's a unit. And I hear hero monument. Here is where we can summon Follow the them. path to the great monument. This is the hero's monument. Claim it and summon. And like any RTS, it takes some time to get them. Go right up to the hero's See, monument, power. select it, and click on the rune symbol in the action bar. Yes. And now we have two characters. Follow me. Forwards. Oh. Aside from the hero monument, <laughs> the symbol of the hand is in the selection enough. window. Yeah, for the room he's doing the best the job avatar. so far, but he probably also has the easiest one. Actually, no, he has Every he's been talking more than any character so far. Later on, even a worker, you lose a bit of your rune power. And the the time time too. Rune power regenerates itself yeah, automatically in the course of time. Attack. Okay. So yeah, now the more you, you have, the, the longer it takes to get Select more. the monument and click on the symbol Freedom. for the hero in the action bar. After a few seconds, the hero should appear. We're under so yeah, basically that's to prevent you from being to just able, able to spam workers and such and uh, zerg rush your enemy by building a lot of stuff early. If you want to select several units, yes, of course this game has multiplayer. You, you can, once you can follow the path further towards the side. Stay with me, man. I'll have to look up the battle music of this game separate because it's a lot better than the voice acting. Then again, I think pretty much everything of this game will, is going to be better than the voice acting. Skeleton general, use your magic and defeat. The no, at least the better version. For the old version, I said I guess totally people are all world war Like again, story mode of my first version of the teleport was unplayable. To to what to not for any game or any game over at all. Well done. One of the undead was carrying a valuable gem. Take it along with you. To adventure. Okay. Yeah, gems we can just sell, of course. Quickly now. Should you want to further test your fighting skills, turn off here. No one, voice actor, or someone that's very good at the DM at Dungeon Dragons. I don't recognize the voice, but then again, the path until you find my memory the is a known Merchants quality, can be identified and by the rotating as in that it's bad. Heads. It sounds familiar, but in, in a way that it could be anyone still. You can buy and sell all kinds of objects from a merchant. Yes, follow me. Okay, he doesn't have anything to Quickly sell, now. though, it seems. Go up to the merchant Pardon? and speak to him by clicking on him with the right mouse button. A window will appear mm. with the merchant's menu. Let's see. Formation. Okay. Destiny. Awaits. On the left of the menu, okay. one object you want to they are going select the in a most high detail over it. Uh, request and maybe a bit objects. too much. Click on the gem. The object yeah. you are buying will be marked green, oh, and in the middle you will see the price the merchant wants to pay. Oh, oh. Click on sell. Yeah. Okay, and this is a room for human Seven workers, level three. Now you can buy something else with the money. Click on the okay. rooms category. Uh, yeah, that, that is how the they uh, regulate portal. which factions, because there are, Follow of course, me. multiple ones you can actually use yourself. Conclude the trade by and, clicking oh, that on the is what, mark that is on what those other window, ones. Or by pressing that's the what these are for key. here. Yeah. Each of the three, the, the six the races. Here's the thing. Sometimes you Open need to grind, let's go. grind to be able to afford the dead ones, just because you have to continue. In the slot with the human portrait. So I'm not sure if I fully remember that having to do with it myself, but the thing in this game is 18 years old, so with how bad my memory is, it's like I like, would have remembered anyways. To here. Yeah, it, it's one of those so uh, found in this area. Yes, they're all well. Were you Over able there. to find out where the rune is, Joshua? In the orc's camp. I think it is in possession of their leader. 
Be careful. Those beasts are tough. You'll have to prepare yourself well. Once you've conquered them, bring the rune to me. I will turn it over to Master Rowan. And for some Follow reason, the, the update the noise is, sounds like a spider getting stepped on. To adventure. <laughs> we can claim Select this, the and, and we can start using the action bar. Should your character perish, you will not have to repeat the whole journey. Okay, construct building. Let's see. Oh gosh, no, I'm not ready for you. This is gonna annoy me. To another bind like, stone you have already activated. Workers have won. So let your to avatar go. and go to the bind stone. But all the soldiers the right have the same voice actor. Select your destination for each race. You can try and this out now if you game. want. When you and the true workers sound more badass than the true soldiers. Okay, Ready let's go. just grab three of each, Speak to to each yeah. of the resources. The beside the monument. Your orders? And go. yeah, wood, stone, iron, moon silver, and aria. They won't quest. come into effect until much later in the game, I think. Quest book page. Okay. Not sure if we'll be able to finish this since we have four and a half minutes left on this. But I think people really generally get the idea with this game. <laughs> Here. Usually, On my command. I'm Let not sure know. which came out first, Warcraft 3 or this. To adventure. Because it is similar Warcraft in some ways. Only... Warcraft 3 came out before this. Okay, so they might they might have been they probably were copying Warcraft 3 to a degree. But uh, up, up the RPG aspect of it. Because in Warcraft 3 you, you still get heroes that get levels. But here you get a yes. lot more to do with that, so a lot more in-depth with the yeah, skills and equipment and such. Yeah, maybe a bit too in-depth. Like, I think they, they had the whole thing in good place, though it does feel like they made a bit too many things into this game that sort of made it very rough. Also, why is the selection circle of those above their ass and deer <laughs> oh dear <laughs> but, but still, yeah it, it's still a very interesting game yeah I, I uh, very, well. Off I go. very good chance that we will be doing this eventually uh, let's see Corey I'm on sure for here's the game. thing the game is extremely long. Done. Actually, yeah. I... Hmm. Because, yeah, it, it, it also has the length of an RPG, of course. Hmm. Yeah. And I think some people play the third games a bit, and I think they go into very high numbers. And they. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm not this game. I may suggest again having this uh, as a series. I kind of put down the wrong building there. That was a quarry for stone, not for metal. Yeah, you want to mine. The quarry going closer to the stone. That way. Yeah. And yeah, you could see it, each of these buildings have a maximum of five workers that can be assigned to it. As good as done. Hmm. May, may, we can add this to the list of possible uh, YouTube specific. Uh, see, oh, I'd forgotten. Yes. Yes, of course, there's also food, of course. Yeah, we, we could add this to. Uh, yeah, if we ever start with that, or when, if or when we ever start with that, with uh, games we're, yes. stream, we're right. doing specifically for YouTube, so we can edit out the, uh, yeah, the chaff. Simply put. Yeah. But for now, yeah. I think we can call it a bit early. We did talk like for five to ten minutes before this already, before I started the clock. So yeah, we, this game has had plenty of time now. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to number three, finally. And share it to Drakir. I still haven't figured out a way to 
to share OBS to Drakir with sound. I could share it to him now, but it wouldn't give him any sound from the game. Hey, so long you said I haven't figured out yet. Yeah, <laughs> figured out. Yeah, for uh, I'm not sure if I heard wrong or if you said wrong. Right, there, there we go. I, for some reason, it wasn't showing on the applications. Let's see. After going over my plan one last time, I closed my eyes and felt a wave of calm wash over me. Now, so were we in freaking space there? How did I know? Hello? The dwarf? Oh dear. Wait, it's not Capolo? Wait, what? More like a serpentine Medusa? What? Wait. This Wait, is as far I've games. gone with this game so far. Hello, uh, lizard! Wait, ain't that a gecko? Yeah, I, th I think it is, yeah. <laughs> And I'd actually noticed it on the side there. Hello, Kiki! Who's a good boy? Just gotta say, I, I like that each of these five have a different thing dangling from the spears. Oh, uh, that's gonna nice. Let's start it, let's see. Adventure, let's start the timer. Bark on the main quest, go alone with friends, and see that run. Okay, let's take a quick look here. Play adventure mode to unlock Cedar Run and Arena. Battle against friends or bots in the deadly arena. At boxing gloves, of course. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Anna, Margaret, Colin, Rafi. Okay. Let's go with her. And start, because yeah, I don't have anyone to play this with at the moment. And a dog running off with a book. Okay, and we have control. Let's see. It's a serp. No, they. It was more look, look more like frogs for some reason. What is this? Are snakes on the door? Oh, it's been 15 years since my last entry. So much has happened since I escaped the cave of Old Mac with his treasure. Tina and I became parents. We named our daughter Anna. She's a strong kid and a natural explorer. Oh, okay, so that, that character is the daughter of the original uh, Spelunker. Okay. And the hell is he doing in here? Okay. So we have multiple layers to go through now as well. Okay, standards, jump. Stupid dog. Run the, dreams the dreams began with Gan when Anna turned five. In the dream, I'd look out the window at the full moon and see Olmec's face in it. I tried to ignore it. I mean, we all saw Olmec sink into that, that lake of lava, didn't we? Also, at the start, it showed. I'm pretty sure that was Olmec's head. Yep. Ow. Uh, that was in the. The moon dust, I'm guessing, then? It, uh, <laughs> a fake snake as a target practice. Uh, okay, that, that's a box of stones that we can just... Okay. That, and yeah, we can kill things with our whip or by throwing stuff at them. Wait, throwing wait. stuff will be the preference most of the time, since, well, it keeps you at, at a distance. Hold on. You're going into deep dungeons, and you're, and you're all with a whip. Yep. <laughs> Our curiosity was too much to resist. With Colin's help, Tina and I built a spaceship that could take us to the moon. Anna wants to come, but it feels a little dangerous, and I think she should stay and finish out the school year. Besides, we should be back before she knows it. There's probably nothing there anyways. Yeah, that's what they always say, and then uh, we get a case of missing parents, like it seems to be. Let's see, what's this? Okay, controls. Bombs. 
Uh, yeah, you want to stay away from that, because it is more than possible, very likely even, that you'll blow yourself up multiple times in this game. It was hard to say goodbye. Part of me wishes we'd brought Anna with us. She loves space and we keep... Look. Look. Okay, something went somewhere there in my throat. <clears> throat> she loves space and we keep wanting to show her things on this ship. At least she has Monty to keep her company. No, it doesn't look. Actually, no, they, the, yeah, the dog came with her to here. Traveling hook. Same thing with no one else dog. Dog? Dog? Yep. More cardboard. I have to inspect the word along game, but I still wonder if that's actually the correct term for, well, this. Hmm. Uh, what? Then? Let's see. It's unbelievable. There's a giant Olmec on the surface of the moon, and a cave. A feeling of deja vu swept over us, and we were drawn toward the end, toward the entrance like iron filings to a magnet. The voice is calling to us. Is it Olmec or something else? Okay. See, so we don't need to do that. Is <laughs> it's cardboard? Okay. An extra layer getting added in could game make things interesting. And there's the freaking dog. Okay. And it just ran back to the entrance. We've been in the moon for what now uh, feels like many months already, but it's hard to tell. Uh, just like before, time and death work differently here. It feels like we've slipped into another crack in the universe, like the cave of Olmac. Connected to it, perhaps, but also bigger. Much bigger. Okay, so I'm guessing they got stuck here for quite a long, long, long ass time. And let's see the journal. Anna, if you're reading this thing. Okay, key. And you've probably guessed that mom and dad are somehow uh, we're down below, trying to find a way out. I'm sorry, we should have brought you with us, but try not to worry. To be honest, we're having fun. Take your time and don't rush. Remember, it's easier to get hurt if you're not careful. Oh, such great parents, huh? Okay, yeah, don't worry. We're we're having fun in there, uh, in here. Uh, don't bother. Just get lost. <laughs> Let's remember what you taught. We thought you it taught you, and you'll be fine. This journal is yours now. Make the most of it, and we'll see you soon. That be spelunkying. <laughs> oh dear. And also, is something wrong with your mic? Hmm. Two times what? you. I had an echo moment. Like electric echo, like there was something going on with the mic. Don't think so. I, I haven't really been coughing and I'm not seeing any yeah, moisture on the mic. Uh, uh, there we go. Achievement, you got this. How did the dog get out? Infinity. And here we start in... And, oh, is that one of those? Yep, that. <laughs> of course. It's a freaking dart trap right at the freaking start and I managed to dodge it and then get hit in the head with it. And, oh, for people. Um, these markings probably people. Yeah, the heck oh. mm, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Punching totem. I remember those, but I remember them being later in the in the cave typically. A dumb beetle? Was a dumb beetle? Yeah. And yeah, you can kill creatures with yeah your whip your, with stones and stuff or you can marry them okay pardon <laughs> okay. okay rocks are 
if you if you can get your hands on a rock in Spelunky, either one or two, uh, you want to keep it with you because, well, you can do that. So you can, <laughs> you don't have to go you know, and risk your own skin and those stupid traps. Okay, okay oh. discount Sonic. A giant arrow. Fun fact, people. There used to be a giant arrow that people actually throw. And it was actually a common weapon. Okay. Was this before they invented the, uh, yeah. the bow? One of those very common weapon that they just don't show in the modern media. Nope. Uh... Okay, I'm guessing the dog is going to be, yep, the damsel. Uh, basically, yeah. if we get a bonus if we bring match to bring them back to a uh, out to the if we manage to get them to the exit alive, but of course we also need to stay alive for that. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Uh, we come in headache. <laughs> Oh, and of course he had a thing with a spider in it. Yep, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I would get be I would be pissed off as well if someone jumped uh, jumped on my head and released my pet spider. Okay, uh, that's a dead end. So, oh, okay, that already got set off. Uh, spider webs will slow you down, but just wiggle it through a bit, and they'll disappear. Are you going to throw that? No, you are going to <laughs> make it look like you were wearing it out, like a, a piece of clothing for a second. What the heck? Yeah. Okay. If people want to know about the giant throwing arrow, no, no, no. look at the dog's Oh, and the dog is dead. <laughs> okay. And you broke the arrow. Yeah. Let's get this rock instead, then. Okay, I think giant arrows that you throw with hands were basically a replacement for throwing spears. Uh, yeah, if we if we'd gotten the dog here, we would have gotten a hard back, I think. Oh. What? Oh. Because yeah, we only have a limited amount. <laughs> no, I just put a very. very... Nasty danger! And that be? Oh, one that may cry tears of blood at you! Okay, I must have missed that. Pony dragon! Oh, uh, yeah. It is a big pony dragon. Yeah, it was called one earlier. And ow. Yeah, be careful with your rocks because you can just get yourself killed with it as well. I don't think I want to mess with that jar. And there's the dog. Okay. Uh, this game uh, probably wouldn't be really one for streaming for a story. There is some story, of course. But it's a pretty tricky game. So it'd likely be something for Saturdays. And... I, I probably could have jumped down there, but that probably would have gotten me. <laughs> my, I probably would have gotten myself killed. <laughs> killed. And that's to say, I'm not trying to kill the dog, I'm just being stupid with the controls. <laughs> the dog is having a rough day. Yeah, might, might as well screw myself over. Okay. A terrible. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is what would normally happen. Okay, just rub it in, why don't you? Yeah, normally, if you stick around too long, a ghost will start chasing you. And, oh, and I'm guessing breaking that jar summons the ghost immediately. And I've come to. First thing. And it's a what fucking snake in a jar. There was a snake in the jar. No, no, the other thing that looked like a skull with a hamster body. I'm guessing it was a gopher of sorts. 
Yeah, just don't go and run off. I'm not going to risk that. I'm going to take this. And oops, spider on the ceiling. Do not want to deal with it. There it is! What is that? Ow. It's something that needs more hits than others. Ow. Okay, what is that? Cave mole. Okay, who's got these like spades and God oh. needs no shades? Cave mole, cave mole. <laughs> okay, it's not a skull head, it is nose. Yeah. Okay, the dung beetle is just a bit of background stuff. Like, okay, just knowing now what I thought was the upper part of a skull, is its nostrils just makes it weirder. Yeah, there's the dog. Yes, yes. Oh wait, that means I basically that, missed... Oh no, it means I missed two nostrils for eye holes. <laughs> Okay, this time we're bringing the freaking dog with us. If I can get out of the freaking hole. Just a disclaimer, people. Or staring contest please, or something. Please, people, remember, Ilian is a cat person. Now, I think you can turn the damsel in a, into a... The heck hit me there. <laughs> Apparently the game does... Did I get hit by the punching thing or something? <laughs> I think the mole actually pushed you and got himself impaled. Okay. Hello there. Let's see. You might want to stay back. I think I'm going down with something. Yeah, too late. You're a pirate? Huh? That's cool. Yeah, that's right. What is all of this? Oh, oh they set up a, a little outpost here. Okay. I still have no idea why a freaking sloth is here. Yeah. Let's see. It is confusing. Like, will a sloth really be able to handle this? Considering how they are, well, you know, slow. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry I missed you there in the chat. Uh... His wisdom. I, oh yeah, I, I only know is the chat program I'm using isn't actually showing over this game for some reason. I thought I checked that. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, this game is Belonky 2. Uh, let's see. How did that graphic and audio? Let's see. Borderless window. That should be. Yeah. Now I now I have the uh, chat program over this again. This. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, this is a a rogue like love road. I think rogue lights are when you have some sort of rogue like is where it's constantly randomized, like it is now. Uh, rogue lights are where you have or you, you can have continued uh, slow progress across multiple runs. Uh, basically, this is a two D platformer. We need. We want to go as deep down in this cave as possible, but we only have four hits, as you can see up in the corner there. So we are very vulnerable, and okay, I'm pretty sure I was going to hit myself with the rock there. And yeah, the, the from what I remember, the caves in the first Palanqui already. Uh, were very, very long for you to have to parkour your way through with only four hits and with a soft time limit as well. So, yeah, it would be. This game is. This game and its prequel are very tr tricky. And then you have stuff like that. Where just skeletons. stupid skeletons. Skellies! Okay. Oh, King Bones! Get rid of that. Pick up you. And... Uh, okay, uh... <laughs> not sure if he wants a hug or something else, but we're not going to try and find out. 
What are they supposed to be? Cavemen? I'm guessing. The why the oh, okay. The dog automatically gets put in. Why the hell would there would be cavemen on the moon? Don't ask me. Also, that mole is coming after us. Okay, stun it. Wait, your stat. You, you don't ask about, uh, let's see, snakes, moles, and all the things on the moon? Because that's, ty that's typical uh, adventure stuff. And, oh, might have gotten myself into a bit of a problem here. Actually, still a problem. Yeah, <laughs> okay, these spikes here, you can walk through them, but you can't land on them. Makes and sense, Gamma. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to risk cool, whatever then. is on the other side there. Uh, right, I was saying, if you walk through the spikes, you will be able be to avoid them, but if you're falling towards them, um, yeah. yeah. I, I remember some of the old Tomb Raider games allow that as well. And yeah, yeah we I get a hard map. But that makes sense for if you see outward spikes, you it feels like you should be able to sling past them if you're walking through them. And but that's not the so that Batman. It says your voice echoes in here. There there are and there are modifiers that can appear in different uh, areas uh, at random because yeah it's all randomized so I, I have no idea what that might mean but uh, I don't know what that meant that was meant by getting a freaking dart into the face if that thorny lizard hadn't set this one up I would have been dead there <laughs> okay and so these arrows are quite nice if you can get your hands on them because they deal double damage to anything you throw them at. And well, we already have uh, we already have the cave moles and the cave men who take more than one hit. Uh, hello, he scooed. Okay. I did not see the I didn't see the bats. Here we go! Yeah, I know I um, should not do more expressions. There you go. Oh, Thank you. Okay, that doesn't look too dangerous, but I'm still going to not try and not get hit, hit by a freaking totem. Uh, there's a chest up there. Oh, and there's a shopkeep. that down. Open that up. Okay. Ah, freaking... Yeah, you can't... You you sort of have to rush in this game, but at the other hand, you don't want to rush. Because stop like that. Basically, a nice and steady paint. Because if we take too long, then the ghost is going to start to chase after us. Basically, be careful, but don't be lazy. Yeah. And fire. Okay. I keep forgetting how short a range that whip is. There's the ghost jar. Yep. Might as well... Might as well show off the ghost. We do get a diamond. Which is worth a lot of points, of course, but... Uh, where is it going to start showing from? There it is! <laughs> uh, oh. And it's blocking our way to the exit. Yeah, because if you touch it... Oh! Dead. <laughs> oh! Where am I? I can't see my body! You poor bastard! Yeah, at the very least, you can restart, like, instantaneously with this. Oh, there's the mole. And immediately we have the dog already. I don't think the dog... I don't think saving the dog at full health will give you another health bar. Or another heart. Oh. But I guess we'll find out when we get to the entrance here. Or the exit. 
No, no, we won't. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, there's some stuff of value. Once you found the ex uh, the exit, you'll still want to look around a bit for some extra valuables that you can gather up. Like, what is that? Okay, bomb bag. So that gave us three extra bombs because we always start with four bombs and four ropes. And a headache because we apparently can't get out of the freaking hole. Yeah, and I think you can dig out those ghosts in the dirt. Yeah, with bombs. And yeah, you can jump around ledges like that a bit. So it does take a bit of practice. Or, well, dex manual dexterity. Pardon? Forgive him. Okay, ghost jar, but we have no interest in breaking it now. And, well, we couldn't reach it if we wanted to because these ropes are actually longer than I remembered. Okay, so we could smash that and make a run for it. Actually, let's do that. Yep, let go. Let go. Yes, as you can see, we are. We can be very freaking speedy if we want to. There we go. Health back. Our loot. Yeah, that, that isn't just for points at the moment. We will be able to run into shops in this game. And yeah, that, speak of the devil. <laughs> Let's see, spike shoes, power pack, crossbow, machete. Yeah, spike shoes, they should double up damage we, we deal from landing on stuff. Crossbow, we can probably just carry around and shoot. Power pack, I have no idea what that would do. So, let's just get the machete. And, okay, that, automat that automatically subtracted you. You can steal stuff from the shopkeeper. It's not a good idea to. Okay. And... <coughs> Pardon? Let's try not to die before we can use this freaking sting. Hello, who the hell are you? Oh, we have an entrance here. Oh, a little glow bug. Let's see. Scarab. A jeweled flying beetle rever revered by the followers of Anubis and sought after by leprechauns and treasure hunters. Leprechauns? <laughs> okay. Is there anything we... Oh, oh, we can get a torch by doing this. Uh, yeah, we'll... <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> yeah, half of the fun of this game is managing to kill yourself in stupid ways. Oh. <sighs> Thank you for that flashback of a segment of my show called Stupid Deaths. Some slings will break after you throw them, which is why uh, stones are so valuable. Okay. Oh yeah, you can do a lovely stone. You can throw it, you can use it as a tool, you can use it as a protection where you make a campfire, you can sit on it, you can use it as a pillow. Okay, okay so we can, pick up the, we can pick up the dung beetle. Because I just remembered something. Oh, and no. maybe we'll get to test it. Yep. And now we're getting bit by this freaking snake. Let's see. Dog is up there, but boarded in. Now I'm going to get myself killed again. And that's a dead end. Nope. Almost, almost. <laughs> Gopher there. Yep. Why do I call it gopher? It's a... F <laughs> it's a cave mole. Now, 
Okay, I'm a will it the bat be moving whilst I'm not in there? No we did I did not expect to survive that. Okay, can we take one of these? I'm surprised as well. But maybe you can take them if you blew it up. I well I didn't survive. They are beaten up. A caveman humbled me to death. It is a caveman! Are we on, oh, almost out of time, but we can still get one more run in and... Okay. Alright, a bit surprising. We actually got confirmation that they are indeed K-Men. Okay. But yeah, what I was wanting to try is you can... In the original Spelunky, you can pick up... You can pick up rats and such and use them as body shields. Uh, that was a skeleton. Or you can also use the dog like that. <laughs> but luckily, the dog can take uh, one or two hits before they blow it. <laughs> okay, dead end. What was that noise that I heard? Was that the. That was the caveman getting annoyed, I think. Okay, I deserve that. <laughs> Any lizards. It can cry blood all at once. It won't get me this time. Okay. Uh, let's just finish this run or this level or die trying. Probably die trying. Or try failing it. Okay. Oh, I see that dart. Okay. Yep. Really? Uh. To the dog. <laughs> but yeah, a game that we could put on the Saturday list. But now let's move on to a game that could be for the main days. Okay, share it to the here. Hmm. And yeah, it's a Marvel game. <laughs> And apparently, okay, it's hiding the chat program again, so I'll have to, I might have to rely on my backup over here. <laughs> Pardon? Even. Oh. And yeah, Activision. I'm not it's sure if I've ever done. heard of another game by that company. Uh, that other company, uh, they don't recognize at all. Hey there, true believers! Watch as once again, frightening forces are at work in our world, ready to wreak Bad havoc voice. with our very existence. Who or what prowls the halls of Empire State University after dark? None other than the master of illusion himself, the menacing Mysterio! <sighs> the tablet of order and chaos. Selling you on the black market is gonna make me a mint. Good, you can use a mint. I can smell your breath from here. Spider-Man! Wait, how would you eat a mint through that fishbowl? Nice! Don't get me wrong, your illusions are nifty, but if you ask me, they could use a little more kick. <laughs> Nah, -uh. souvenirs are available in the gift shop. Stop it! Cease your incessant prattling! But incessant is the best kind of prat. What? What's this? Hey, Bubblehead, think fast! <laughs> You idiot. Whoa, what the heck was that? <laughs> okay, can somebody tell me what's going on here? Spider-Man, you are needed. Madam Webb? 
As if this night wasn't strange enough already. The Tablet of Order and Chaos is the most powerful of all the mystic artifacts in the world. And you shattered it. Yeah, sorry about that. Guess they don't make tablets like they used to, huh? The pieces are now fragmented across other dimensions. Dimensions that are strange reflections of our own. A past unlike ours. A present day out of sync. And a distant future which may or may not come to pass. Is that a... cartoon pig? Focus! I require your help. Yours and the help of these three other Spider-Men. The heroes into whose realities the tablet fragments fell. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Other realities? Other me's? Yes, I have explained our dire situation to them. They will be your allies in this quest. But I'm the most charming, right? You must gather all the pieces of the tablet before they fall into the wrong hands. Or our reality, as well as theirs, will be utterly destroyed. Yeah, yeah right. No pressure or anything. <laughs> ID? What the? Uh, okay, the game just crashed. That didn't happen before. Uh, okay, started in safe mode. I have played a bit of this game before. Not too much, and now it's in an absolutely tiny resolution. But yeah, this is Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. <laughs> which you could consider a bit of a prelude to uh, the Spider-Verse stuff that Marvel has been doing later. Okay, back in. Uh, share it to Drakir so he can see because it kind of it's kind of needed for your co-commentator to be able to see what they'd be co-commentating on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, it's how to co-commentate blindly. Let's up that a bit. I've. I've been told that uh, 1600 by 900 is considered like an optimal uh, resolution for streaming. And uh, let's put that to Ultra, as Ultra as an over 10 year old game can get in comparison. Okay, let's keep that. It does put it in a smaller window. It's, this still looks pretty co uh, cool by today's standards with uh, the graphics, I'd personally say. It sure does. How old was it again? I'm not sure actually, but uh, probably over 10 years old. All right, then it definitely looks good. Yeah, having it uh, be cartoonized also happens and helps a lot with that. Oh yeah. yeah, this and character also... in the middle, that's Madam Web. <laughs> because yeah. uh, Peter didn't hey introduce there, her. True believers. Oh, watch. Uh, as... And that, that voice, I know. I... I know that voice. That's Stanley ain't These neighborhoods aren't gonna friendly themselves. If you follow my instructions, I will assist you in finding a fragment now. Who am I to refuse a lovely lady? Lead on, MW. All right. You will need to reach that ledge to begin your quest. Wait, this quest involves jumping? <laughs> oh, may Stanley rest in peace. You'll need to get yeah. higher than that. Keep your cloak on, M Dubs. That was just a warm up. And now, scale the wall with your unique adhesive abilities. Uh, I believe the technical term is stick'em powers. <laughs> yup, I'm yeah. crawling up a wall. <laughs> Shut up, Peter. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that voice actor, the voice earlier. I your spider sense now. Instead of just detecting danger, you have the added abilities of seeing through objects, locating enemies, and discerning structural weaknesses in your environment. Cool. As if the spider sense wasn't overpowered already. Let's see. See enemies through walls, reveal enemy state of health. Okay. I will bestow it upon the other Spider-Men as well. Don't let weak structures or other obstacles block your path. Use your webbing to pull that wall down. Okay, web pull. And that's oh, called and breaking and entering. What were you saying earlier before she interrupted you? 
Hey, look what I found. Excellent work. A job well begun is half done. Now to another Spider-Man, and to bestow a different gift upon him. The black suit! What am I doing in the black suit? I, I hate this thing! Stay calm, young Peter. This suit has extra abilities you will need in your quest. What, like what, trying to take over my body? I said stay calm. My psychic powers will keep it from overwhelming you. Yeah? Well, I hope you can do it. Now let's retrieve the next fragment, Spitzbot. Did you just say Spitzbot? First, with your ability to webzip, you can travel quickly from perch point to perch point. Try it now. Let's see, right trigger. Why did I have to double check which... Uh, Occasionally, in order to reach distant perch points, you will have to jump towards them and web zip in midair. Uh-huh. Talk about a leap of faith. And you can run across narrow walkways such as this one without fear of falling due to your natural agility and powers of adhesion. Uh, they're called stickum powers. Did one of the other me's make that joke already? Yes, and it was no funnier then. Sheesh. The fragment is at the end of the corridor. Can you swing across to it? Can I? Lady, it's my trademark. Let's see. Web swing almost anywhere. Hold to web swing. A for speed boost or holds to jump off. I gotta admit, this suit does feel barely under control. And I feel stronger. Faster. Maybe this will work out after all. Fingers crossed. Also, why the hell is his ass just so defined in his suit? Yeah, it does attempt that he's also shiny. They're all gonna be this easy to find, right? No. But now, I must turn my consciousness to the future and to... Miguel O'Hara. Spider-Man of the year 2099. That's me, ready to save the universe and looking good while doing it. The next fragment is close, just ahead in fact. I'm on it. Gotta watch out though. This area is property of the Alchemax Corporation, and that means the public eye will be everywhere. And what, pray tell, is a public eye? Not a what, a who. The police force owned by Alchemax, and I'm not sure which is more corrupt. Yeah, none of the Spider-Men are going to ever shut the hell up. Which might make it a bit of a problem to scream if they're not always going to interrupt me. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Here comes the public eye now. Many enemies will try to stop you from collecting fragments. You must defeat them in combat. Tell me about it. I tried to defeat him in cards once. Didn't go so good. This one looks easy. Try a light attack. Hold it! Here comes okay, another. Perhaps something stronger. Keep the battle tips coming, lady. It's like having Sun Tzu as a life coach. Looks like you're right. Impressive. With your incredible strength, you can probably even knock enemies into the air. Freeze, freeze. Again. See? You must never miss an opportunity to subdue an enemy, even in the air. Try to hit him while he's airborne. Freeze, Perform freeze. a combo. Now that's just over. No. Cool. Now try to grab your enemy. Okay, it was showing in You're keyboard controls away. because that was the Come last here, thing I found. Right. He can't oh. escape now. Strike him down. Someone. Uh. Oh, no. I didn't mean to make Ow. him disappear. You didn't. I have saved him from peril and transported him to safety thanks to a dimensional rift caused by the tablet. But please, try not to be so cavalier next time. Good to know you got my back. Guess I'll just worry about my front. Beware, Spider Man. Here come the last three. Take them out, howsoever oh, you can. Oh, oh, you are one bloodthirsty. Okay, old so shit. we can just chuck them over the edge if needed. So, yeah, that's how they explain you basically throwing people into pits and not killing them like the Spider Man do not kill. Ah, that was a good warm up. So, when do we get a real challenge? I fear it will be sooner than you think. And finally, I turn my attention from the future to a world set in the past.
Say your prayers, punks. Here comes the Spider-Man. What do we got here? Looks like criminal forces in this world have already found one of the fragments. They've taken over the station. And this used to be such a nice place. Use the shadows to your advantage. See if you can subdue these opponents silently, with stealth attacks. You read my mind, sister. Yes, that's what I do. Yeah, each of the Spider-Man plays somewhat differently. If I remember correctly, uh, Spider-Man 2099, uh, Miguel O'Hara there in the, in the cyber suit, he's the most combat heavy, I think. Um, in this one, Spider-Man Noir will be stealth based. What the specific difference will be between the other two, if I remember correctly, the first one is the quote-unquote Prime Spider-Man, and the second one is the Ultimate, is in the Ultimate Universe, I think? Oh. I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't talked about so much no good about the Ultimate Universe. Open up on me. Agreed. If an enemy spots you, it is imperative to defeat him quickly or retreat. Either into the shadows or high above. I have gifted you with new web swinging powers. They will be useful in this respect. Oh, I like this. Thanks for the enhanced powers, lady. The webs normally just kind of splatter everywhere. Use your spider sense to locate the fragment. There, through that gate. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, Noor is a lot more stealth based. Making him technically the weakest of the four. Let's see. Shadows are your friend. Use them to your advantage. Stealth takedowns can be performed from various positions. And yeah, let's shut that off before it gets annoying. And that... Yeah, this knows the zip points that we got shown earlier. For now, though... Another opportunity for a stealth attack. Sorry. You're gonna miss your train. <laughs> that was not where I wanted to aim, but okay. Oh, you've been spotted. Enemies will hunt you down in the tank on sight. A red spider marker will indicate where Spider-Man was last seen by the enemies. We'll keep looking for you as uh, long as the health bar glows. Okay. Still got. Oh, we, have, we had a split moment. Okay. So yeah, Those we just need to stick. Are not too strong to uh, all day. <laughs> uh, normally, but normally, I'm not I trying to go through things, through things, uh, too speedy. And he's just going to return to his spot, so we can sneak up again. And again, that not really where I was aiming for, but okay. Ow. Like, already the force needed to pull someone up that high and then to kick them in the head when they arrive. <laughs> yeah, a bit of an overkill, yeah? The fragment a... is close. I feel its presence. It's over May there. May I suggest a stealth attack on this dirty louse? Lady, you're all right. Oh, now I get why they're getting along so well, because Madame Webb is old as all hell, so she uses uh, old-timey talk, <laughs> just like Spider-Man Noir. <laughs> and no, uh, Spider-Man Spider Noir isn't voiced by Nicolas Cage in this game, like he is in the Spider-Verse movie, or movies, to be more accurate, since they're working on number two and three at the moment. Wait, what? Yep. <sighs> Nicholas Cage, Spider-Man. Yeah, a Spider-Man. I, I think, I think it is Nicholas Cage. I'm, I'm, I'm whole, I'm not great with names, but I'm pretty sure it is him. I'll, I'll send you a clip later. And that's the end of that.
No, Spidey, it's just the beginning. Across many dimensions, these four fearless Spider-Men, in all their various incarnations, must fight to reassemble the Tablet of Order and Chaos. Not just for the sake of their own worlds, but for the fate of every world in every dimension. Good luck, Web Slingers. We're all counting on you. You've recovered the first quarter of the Tablet. Excellent. I've always been good at scavenger hunts like moths to a flame. Those with evil hearts will be drawn to the unleashed power of the tablet, gaining new and frightening powers. So far, you have been fortunate that none of them have fallen into enemy hands. Why'd you have to go and say that? Man, what a jinx. Bah, useless hunk of nothing. Wait. What's this? Ah, yes. Power. This is what real power feels like. No more parlor tricks and sleight of hand. Mysterio is now the master of real magic. And this uh -oh. is just the beginning. <laughs> I have to say that I like this design of Mysterio, but his helmet looks like a freaking Big Daddy from Bioshock. Yeah, the rest of them looks damn good and actually realistic. Let's see. Okay, it's over the. It, it overlays on the one that you're selected. Okay. Easy, normal, and hard. Like we we tip we know we typically yeah we stream games usually for the story more than. Uh, you have more a gameplay effect but let's try still try normal with this i i've i'm going easy enough with the dark shadows game yeah game games <laughs> let's see wait that's how you spell bugle what do you know I swing around long enough, and my new upgraded spider sense points me towards a fragment. Definitely sensing something from inside the, uh, jungle room? Wait, what? Hey, that... look at that. If it isn't Mr. Tablet Fragment, right there waiting for me to grab it. Which can Why only be one thing. Oh, trapped! Gotcha! That wasn't so bad, actually. Oh, come on! Rest now, my brain. Say a little strange. For when you awake, we begin the hunt. <laughs> What's it, Craven? Oh, Craven, that maniac. Where has he taken me this time? What horrible death trap will I have to overcome? Hey, this is a pretty nice view, actually. <laughs> Okay, yeah, each of these levels will have to deal with uh, a character, if I remember correctly. Okay, let's see where this goes. But before we get to them, we need to get to them. Let's see, these shiny tokens will restore your health. They will also reward you with spider essence, which can be used to upgrade your characters. Okay, keep your eye out for silver and gold uh, spider emblems. Okay, I've forgotten about that. And how long have we been out? <laughs> and where the hell did he bring us? Eldorado! And uh, there's a good possibility that those were dinosaurs among there, yeah? Because I believe there is an area in the Marvel Universe called the Wildlands or something, or the Savage Lands. There is, there is. I actually recently read about it. Hence why I then run about devil dinosaur. Wait. Is he see he could here as well? Welcome to the jungle. This rock, it holds great power, no? I could use it to crush you. Like a bug. That wouldn't be very sporting of you, would it? Ah, you speak a great truth. Let it be your prize then. 
If you can survive my gauntlet, your powers against my skills, your brain against mine. Come on, enter my game of death. Claim your trophy, if you dare. His voice sounds familiar, or it might just be because a lot of the voice actors for Craven pull that same accent. Let's see, first yeah. challenge. Do his face was a bit unsettling for some reason. Let's see, welcome to the web of destiny. Here you can keep track of the numerous challenges Spider-Man needs to complete in order to become stronger and learn new skills. Be sure to check out the character upgrades and combat upgrades screen to see what is available. Okay. Great Craven's hunting ground. <laughs> Are we already at two hours? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun, huh? Yeah. Okay. So these are sort of like achievements that we need to get. Out. Okay, why is there something buzzing in my ear? Okay. But uh, yeah. <laughs> we still have seven minutes on this, Come so let's finish friend. that up. Do not delay! The Grim Hunt! Be hurry! Hurry! So you want me to run through the jungle? Should I not look back? Do not mock me, Spider-Man! Wow, you're not touchy for a guy who wears leopard print pants. Keep your tights on, I'm coming. Okay. I recognize this. Let's see. Come, come! We have only scratched the surface! Seeing you so excited is creeping me out. <laughs> yeah, on Craven, I'm not really sure if I'd call him a favorite character of mine, but I do like him since. Oh, why, why was my controller shaking there for a moment? Because something else is shaking in the game. I do like Craven, because basically he is just a normal guy uh, at peak physical condition, and he, he still wants Spider-Man dead, but he has a... Sm he generally has a sort of honor about it, though not always. Yes, there is much for you to experience here. Traps, long-range weapons, and of course, hand-to-hand -hand combat. How cute! You put together your own boy band. My disciples. They've come to study at the foot of the master to learn the art of the hunt from the greatest hunter of all. And the most modest. You dare talk me in front of my students? No, in front of your boy band. Men, remember what I have taught you. Strike hard, strike fast, and show no mercy. Yeah, let's see if you've got what it takes. Uh, he just can't shut the hell up, can he? Uh, here we go! <laughs> you afraid yep. of me? Say uncle! Okay, left trigger to hold defensive stance. Oh, okay, you ought to dodge attacks that way. Okay. Because, yeah. Spider-Man is not only as strong as a spider, he's also as fast as one in his reflexes. Okay. It's, it, uh, I don't have... Okay, we got an up... We're forced into this. Welcome to Combat's Upgrade Stream. Here we combine new skills using the spider essence you've collected. Da -da -da. More will become available as you complete things. Okay, let's see. What have we done? Web shots. The blind enemies render them helpless. Blind, blind enemies can be grabbed by pressing B. Grab uppercuts. One's in a grab. <clears throat> Pardon. Once in his grasp, Spider-Man can punch enemies up in the air, leaving them open to other attacks. Air recovery. When knocked back, Spider-Man can get back into the action before hitting the ground. Okay, let, let's get that. That sounds useful. And we might as well get that as well, since we can afford it. Some for you. Got your nose. And there we go. Thanks for playing. Okay, B to grab any object between range, throw it by pressing B or kick it by pressing X. 
What would be your difference? I'm Spider Man. That's okay. what I do. I break pots. Okay, that the wall I got your new nose caught me very off guard. It seems my men have not proved much of a challenge for you. Are you kidding? Those guys were brutal. I barely survived. <laughs> not true. Uh, standard beat em up stuff. Otherwise, just keep punching them until they don't get back up. So, yeah, we could have also grabbed stuff and throw it at them. I'm pretty sure there are some enemies that we can only defeat by, uh, yeah, throwing stuff at them. <laughs> More moves to mangle. Actually, oh, I can't grab onto them. Here we go. Oh. Somewhere Link is getting jealous of someone doing his thing. For <laughs> the challenge. First there we go. Okay, now to get out of here. I very much doubt that we'll... Bitch. I very much doubt that we'll be able to get to the end of this level, but we'll still... Keep it out if you keep taking it. ...see as far as we can go. And yeah, of course things get more interesting Bad if you start mixing up heavy and light. Ooh, ooh, is this a private fight, or can I join in? There we go. <laughs> I know that sound guy, in fact. For the thrill of the hunt! Let's see. Some attacks cannot be automatically dodged. When you see a tingle above uh, Spider-Man's head, tab to roll out of the way. So you can also perform evasive rolls by pressing spacebar. Uh, of course, we can't see what that would be on the controller at the moment. Active like evasion is crucial oh, for being people. attacked. Roll out of the way. There we go. Got your nose. See ya. Oh, already took out both both of them. Yep. Nice of you to join us. Have a welcoming gift. <laughs> Are you a welcoming gift? Oh, have a replacement! Oh, you broke it as well. Stay down. <laughs> Come! The jungle still holds barely surprises. I'm sorry, were you saying something? <laughs> okay, I fell for that one. But yeah, that's half of Raven Stick. To come within range. When you have the shot, take it! I guess this begins the bullet dodging portion of the festivities. It's tap. Okay, Victory. nice that they have that show. Have that show. Yes, yeah, Madam Web is uh, saving them, which uh, makes leaves the Spider-Man open to just uh, casually endanger them. And yeah, we can just matrix this shit as well. And that's the timer, but let's let's beat up this last batch of these idiots. In. And then we'll call it. I already pressed the pause button, stupid thing. Okay. Okay, we have a sort of triple jump then. And up more of these. <laughs> okay, that's what you get for exploring in this, apparently. Darts. Okay. Um, hmm, I thought the rest of it would be closer, but... Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can put this one on the to-do list. Uh, 
Yeah, nice. I can see it doesn't work, but it is entertaining. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have to uh, watch out with <laughs> the Spider-Man chatting over us, though. Ugh. Okay, now my shirt is really starting to act up, so <laughs> I'm... I guess uh, good timing with that then. <clears throat> but yeah, let's see. Uh, tomorrow we continue with Dark Setters 2. I might try some things to uh, up the performance somewhat. I have been playing along on the normal Dark Siders version, just in case the Definitive Edition bugs up somewhere and. Okay, I, was, I thought it was loading, but no, it was waiting for me to interact. <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, tomorrow continuing with Darksiders, more Orc must die on Saturday, and hopefully this time we can just hold this on Sunday normally from now on again, but we'll have to see. Hopefully uh, organization at the swimming or the group will have improved by then. But <laughs> yeah. Thoughts on the games from you, Drakir? Let's see. Well, I love Soul Calibur. I'm not sure if it is fit for streaming since... Yeah, it is very text-heavy between the battles. Yeah, and I'm not good at fighting games. Yeah, and Spell Force? That might not be the best... As a... I can see some streamers stream that, but for us, in uh, the way we want to stream it, that one way just take way too long time. Yeah, we can we can put it on, <clears throat> like I said, on the off-stream recording. Then we then I edit it around a bit and upload it to YouTube when we would eventually start doing that, or when or if. Yeah. <laughs> Spelunky too? Maybe? Maybe? Depending yeah, on we, how could, we... we could put that on Saturday from every now and then. Yeah. This one, however, it's Final Map, a definite no. Just kidding. It's a definite yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about doing the PlayStation 4 Spider-Man eventually as well, so we could put these in a, a line similar to how we're dealing or how we're doing Darksiders and Dishonored at the moment. That's also a good idea. Well, yeah, we'll have to see when we eventually get to that because we already have a big ass list of games to go through. Yeah, we do. Hmm. But for now, though, let's see. Uh, thank you for watching, Thai Wisdom. Uh, sorry for missing your chats earlier, but still, thank you for being around. And thank you as well to anyone else who has been watching now or later. And as always, special thanks to you, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. <laughs> and yeah, I already outlined uh, the schedule. I, I probably don't really need to do that, keep doing that since it's on Twitch already. Yeah. Okay, now things are starting to itch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, thanks for watching, and until next time, but until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for rats. <laughs> Later. Later.